Hey guys, so we got a brand new camera. It is the Fujifilm X-A5 camera. Um, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of it. Um, it came out only about two weeks ago, a week ago, something like that, so it's really new. Um, I didn't see very many videos on YouTube about it, so we decided to make our own. We got it primarily because it does have an external microphone input, which uh, for vloggers is extremely useful, especially when it's the size of a point and shoot. It's a smaller camera. I know a lot of DSLRs do have mic inputs, but a lot of the smaller vlogging cameras like the G7Xs um, don't have microphone inputs. So this is sort of that hybrid of the two, which is what was appealing to us. So we're gonna open up the box and see what's inside, and then we'll do a little test uh, of the camera itself and some of the audio qualities. So we also have a microphone, the Movo VXR 10GY, which we also have an unboxing and uh, first impression tests video. So if you want to check that, the link is in the description below. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to get started with this camera. We're going to do the unboxing and then we'll do some test footage so you can see what it looks like. It is a point and shoot camera, but what it does have is a microphone input, which is huge. Uh, because previously for vloggers, you had to have, uh, most vloggers have a DSLR camera with a Rode mic attached or they'll have uh, the G7X point shoot, which doesn't have a mic input. So you're just stuck with whatever microphone is actually on the camera, which doesn't tend to produce great audio, especially if you're in a, a crowded room or a place where there's a lot of external noise, it just picks up a lot of that background noise and can get very uh, noisy and it's not ideal for audio. So this is the X-A5. Uh, you can see it's just a cardboard box. Uh, it comes with uh, some pamphlets of some kind. Uh, it does have a pretty uh, large set of manuals. There's two of them in here, so I don't know. Let's see. There's this, telling you not to return it to the place of purchase, to contact them. Okay, what else do we have? Just a bunch of stuff. It has two owner's manuals. Oh, one in Spanish and one in English. So we have two manuals here. The owner's instruction manuals. It's pretty thick. Some 200 plus pages. <laughs> So, okay, we got manuals. But... Okay, now let's break out the camera. So here is the camera. Let's take it out. Oops. All right, so this is the camera. It does have a flip up screen, which again is what makes it appealing to uh, vloggers, as well as the aforementioned uh, microphone jack so it has a microphone input which is huge I think this is for the flash let's see Boop. yep flash switch right here uh, as well as HDMI ports or HDMI jacks right here um, and then let's see I don't know what's in here oh this is a these are the different mode selections here Um, and as you notice, this is a lens cap, but there is no lens because it has removable lenses, which is what also makes this sort of an appealing camera. In addition to having the microphone input, it also has removable lenses. And you can get an adapter and use all kinds of Fuji lenses, I believe. Um, but this is the one it comes with, and I believe there's also a telephoto lens that you can purchase. Um, so let's just slide this on here. There we go. And this is what the camera looks like. One thing I noticed that's sort of a challenge uh, for vloggers is that this lens cap is removable. Um, so it doesn't have the uh, motorized opening, which in some ways is good because you can get, if you're especially rough with your cameras, you can get stuff in the lens mechanism and it can be a problem. Uh, but this, for vloggers on the run with a small camera could easily get lost if you don't put it in your pocket or put it someplace uh, this could easily get lost so that might be a challenge the build quality the camera's really light um, i don't know i mean for some people that's appealing but you also have to like the top portion of the camera body is metal the bottom part is plastic the lens feels very plastic so the lens feels sort of flimsy um, but as a camera, from what I've seen of the X-A3, the image quality should be really, really good. 
Um, okay, so that's the camera. Let's see what else is in this box. Okay, let's see. So it comes with a charger, a tiny little charger. Well, I guess this is part of the adapter for the charger. I don't know what this is. Uh, okay. So it also comes with a battery, which obviously is essential. I don't know how... Let's see. Oh, you probably charge it in the actual camera. So this is an internal charger. You open it up pop the battery inside close it um, and then I believe you would use this oops you do that attach that you do this so with this charger, the only way to charge the battery is inside the camera. It does, you'd have to buy a, a separate charger if you want to charge the batteries externally. Yeah, the little uh, USB micro cable, and you would plug that in, and I guess you would just charge the battery just like that. So, oh, and it comes with a strap too. I don't tend to use them, but a lot of people do. The strap actually feels like, well, I don't think it's leather, but maybe. I mean, it feels leather-ish. Uh, can you get a look at that? There you go. Um, we purchased the brown version because the black version was sold out, and we didn't want to wait because we really wanted this camera. But, I mean, I think it looks okay. It's kind of light brown-ish. Um, but, you know, it's perfectly fine. I know they have a pink one too, and they don't seem to sell. That one doesn't seem to sell quite as well, uh, but it does come with straps you can obviously attach to the camera on the sides here, like that. It's actually fairly long, so. Um, but yeah. Take me out to California. Take me out I'm gonna go in the sea. I gotta go hunt in the sun. The day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies And all the while I was trying to pretend The promised land was there beyond the great divide But I'll be coming, coming home soon Yeah, I'll be coming Hard to see with my sunglasses on, so I can't tell. Where the streets are paved with gold, and no one ever gets old. I'll be longing for that day to come and take me home, California, California. Here I come. I've seen it all upon the silver screen. The happy face is in a sign. The wine is flowing in the fields forever green And all your hopes and dreams will always be fulfilled So I'll be coming, coming real soon Yeah, I'll be coming, coming real soon So take me out to California Where the sun is always high Where the streets are paved
So my first impression of this Fujifilm X-A5 camera is you pretty much get what you pay for. It is a good little camera, I think, that can serve your needs as a vlogger fairly well, but it's a less expensive model. So and it, it does show in certain aspects. Um, it is much less expensive than the uh, Sony RX100 or the Canon G7X, uh, both of which are more expensive than this camera. In addition, while they all have the flip-up screen, which is very useful for vloggers, um, they, the G7X and the RX100 do not have this microphone jack. So you're gonna get something uh, extra with this camera. You tend to have to jump up to a DSLR if you want a microphone, external microphone. With this, you don't, so that's a big positive. In addition, if you really like photography and you wanna swap out lenses, with this camera, you can do that. Um, you can buy additional lenses. I even think there's an adapter you can buy to adapt um, actual f other, you know, larger Fuji lenses onto this camera. With the RX100 and the G7X, you can't really do that. So that's also a plus. Um, the image quality seems really good. It's got a fairly large sensor. Um, I think it's over an inch and a half. It's in centimeters. It's 23.5 by 15.7 millimeters. Uh, the sensor, so it's fairly large. Um, it's actually larger than the G1X and G7X. Um, so it does handle low light pretty well. Again, these are my first impressions. We're gonna be doing more testing. We'll do some low light night photo photos. But my first impression of it is uh, it does handle uh, low light pretty well. Okay, now the not so good. The autofocus isn't great, at least not yet. I'm not sure if that's a firmware thing that they're gonna look at, um, but the autofocus tends to take time to catch on and maybe it was the mode that I was using I'm not hundred percent sure uh, I was trying to use it on you know as much auto as I could um, but that's gonna take a little bit of, of working with to find out if, if that's an inherent problem with the camera or if that's something that maybe I didn't set it properly because um, I literally just got it today and a few hours ago so I haven't really had a chance to look at the manual or play around with it very much we just shot it and we're getting this video up so that you can see what it looks like but we'll do more videos um, so yeah, the focus didn't seem great. Um, second thing is uh, this lens that it comes with, it, it's, it's plastic. The entire lens except for the ring and of course the glass is plastic. And, and when I mean say plastic, I mean it's very thin plastic. Uh, I feel like if I sat on this or even squeezed it too hard, it could crack. So it's not an expensive lens at all. Um, it, the optics seem fine, but if you are rough on your cameras, this might be something that you consider before buying this camera um, because it, the lens does feel pretty cheap. Um, again, it seems to look good. I had no problems with the image, at least from the footage that I saw, the image, seemed, the image quality seems good, but the lens is, uh, it, it feels cheap. Here's another thing. The microphone we got to use with this camera the BXR10GY, which we also have a video of uh, if you're interested in the description below. Anyway, it's a little microphone that you can attach right here. And you can pick up much better audio. Because you have an audio jack, you can plug it straight in here, and plug it straight in here, and it goes, plugs in there. The problem is twofold. One, when you do that, uh, can you see that? The screen won't open if you do that because it's blocking the screen, the microphone. There are workarounds to that, however. Some people advise you to put some Velcro and Velcro this on here. Alternately, you could buy one of these. They're not very expensive, um, and you can use them to go on your camera and provides you with an additional mount for your microphone. That way, you can still do this, and you can, it works perfectly. Um, links below if you're interested in doing something like that with your camera. Here's the second problem. Most consumer audio products use this, which is the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It's what came with the microphone. It's what comes with most pairs of headphones. This one doesn't. This one actually is a 2.5 millimeter audio jack, which means you need an adapter to use it with almost any uh, microphone, um, except for Interestingly enough, the Fuji ones. If you buy it through Fuji, I'm assuming it comes with that, which is probably why they want they went with this. Maybe it's because they want you to buy their microphone. It's a simple enough fix. 
this little adapter is probably two dollars or something like that and you can actually just plug it straight in to the audio jack and then plug the cable into this to your microphone but anyway it does work um, you just need this the adapter um, other than that we think it's a good camera we'll be continuing to test it there'll be more videos of the footage in our vlog and also we're gonna do a couple more tests If you're considering buying the Fuji XA5 camera and you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Um, and if you have questions or if you want to see any other footage in particular, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to hear how this sounds with the, uh, the Movo microphone, we've got another video about the Movo microphone, so you can check that out in the description below. The link is there. Again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.